Hi, I'm Elizabeth Whiting. I'm the costume designer for Magic Flute. This is my assistant, Lisa Holmes. This is an example of one of our designs. We get the um, brief to design Magic Flute, usually about six months in advance, so we have some time to brainstorm. In this situation, we've got a tribe of people who are tattooed on their bodies and on their clothing. Yeah, so with this particular coat, we've cut it from a leather and we're actually burning the tattoos and etching them into the leather using a soldering iron. We're actually breaking the clothing down so that they look as if they've been worn. We've got a very tall speaker and a very short old man and he, the old man's costume will be more old and more wizened and more um, decayed. We also have tattoo on another character um, so it's sort of and an ongoing theme but quite a different look. Um, so Papa Gaynor, we've designed for her like a very gorgeous hummingbird tattoo that drapes all the way down her leg. We've devised a, a way to not have to permanently do this but um, to have a temporary one. So oh. we do have to test out these things and unfortunately there's not many willing participants around so I, <laughs> I um, offered my thigh as a, a uh, a tester for the tattoo so I did go around for a couple of weeks with this on my leg and uh, surprised a number of people with my new tattoo. So the whole process as I said starts six months earlier but we only start producing the costumes five weeks before the show goes into the theatre. And with Magic Flute we've actually made for each chorus member an individual look so that's a huge process in itself and then you've got the principal characters as well. So it's a busy five weeks. 